Hey guys, welcome back. I am so ready to run some vaults today. And I think I'm gonna stick with the plan of running three bingo vaults because that sounds like a lot of fun and will hopefully also be some good practice. But before we go into any vaults today, we need to replace our clover trinket because it is unfortunately out of uses. However, a couple of episodes ago, we were very lucky and managed to roll a new one with 25 uses. So let's just pop that on and let's make a crystal. Then we just need to put the seal on it to make sure that we get a bingo vault. And since we still have all three bounties from last episode, let's just see what we get. Hmm, how is this looking? I mean, this top row might be doable depending on what's in that combo and if we get lucky with what we find. I think this column is also relatively doable. Kill a bunch of hordes, primitively kill some hordes and primitively kill some tanks and rapidly loot five living. I think for now, I'm gonna leave it on this one and then we'll just see what we find from here because yeah, this seems like it might be relatively promising, but you never know what you're gonna find. So let's just get going and see what lies in store. I need to, ooh, rapidly loot all nates. There's three here and three over here. Okay gonna have to be very quick. Come on, come on. Yes! Rapidly loot on it. Perfect. Ow! Oh, hello. I did not see you there. Hello. Ooh, some horde mobs. Perfect. We need to kill an awful lot of you. And if I could kill a bunch of you primitively. Perfect. I will take that. Good to see you. Good to see you. And that's a bounty complete. Perfect. Hello. You are very frustrating. But you gave me a guaranteed Omega Sword, so I do not mind you being frustrating in the slightest. Christ, guaranteed Omega Sword. I sometimes am frustrated by champions, but then I'm very swiftly reminded why I put up with them. I don't think I've managed to walk into a berry bush yet, which might be a record for the amount of time I've been in one of these vaults and not walked into a berry bush. So I'm currently incredibly happy. Oh, hello. If I can primitively kill you, that would be amazing. Hi. Now I, I curse myself, but I did primitively kill some tanks, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. Oh. And another bounty. Perfect. And what do you have? A bit of lemon. Mmm. Glazed vault rock. I think I've got quite a few. So let's just... Oh, but what if I don't... Oh, it's only five gold. Let's get it. Oh, hi. Um, I do need to get gilded. But... Is this really likely to be our best way of getting said gilded? I don't know. This feels like a pretty good way to guarantee that I don't know how. I need to do is flawlessly loot eight gilded chests. Ah, god damn it. Hello. Okay. Please don't take any damage. Duh. Damn it. Okay, well we got the main loot gilded, which is something. It's just whether I can get the flawlessly. Yes! Flawlessly gilded, perfect. Yes, okay. That's all of our horde mobs then. And thank you for killing my third champion. I really didn't need you to give me another one actually. Um, I really didn't need that. Oh, hello. Well, we opened all of our vendors, so that's nice. But the other one on that line is to nervously kill two champions, which doesn't seem 
overly likely. So I think we'll have to call it quits on that one. Yes, wait. Wait. What? Please. Yes! We got a bingo line! Oh, that was a needlessly tense right just then. But we did it. Oh, that is the first time in what feels like forever that we actually completed a line in a bingo vault but that is amazing oh cut it to the wire a little bit and not quite the line i thought i was gonna get but i will definitely take it because oh christ that was so so good well even if the other ones today don't go the way we want which hopefully they will but even if they don't we had one success today and i'll take that i'll take it and what we got two out of three bounties complete i mean that was just so good Ooh, 45 coin pearls, 11 ores, 112 chests, and 459 mobs. But we got a bingo. Oh man, we just did not find many living chests. And the ones that we did were sort of like POIs with two. Ooh, but that was so good. I know I said it already, but I am so happy with how that vault went. It was our first vault of the day. We got a completion and a bunch of loot. I mean, I'll take that any day of the week. We got like three mod boxes, a bunch of focuses, a glazed vault rock from the vendor, five jewels, and 17 gear pieces including the Omega sword from the champion. Plus we completed our dweller mod bounty, and our legendary tank mod bounty, and on top of that we also completed the vault, so we get all of this. Ooh, which gave us an Omega chest plate. Ooh, and a star fruit, which adds 90 seconds to the vault timer. That's even better than the orange. Ooh, okay, that has to be saved for a very, very special occasion. And as for our jewels, unfortunately, I don't think any of them are particularly worth keeping hold of, so we will just scrap all of them. But what about this gear? I mean, we have two guaranteed Omegas, so I am very interested to see what we get from this. Ooh, it's even got a new transmog. And we managed to find one piece of gear with a legendary modifier, and that is this rare chest plate with a plus 33% cooldown reduction, which I think I might keep hold of. I'm not sure if we'll ever actually use it, but that is quite a useful legendary to have. But the two things we are going to be keeping hold of for sure are the two pieces of Omega gear. So first we have this lovely lovely sword which doesn't have the best implicits. I mean the attack damage is only 0.5 higher than the absolute lowest roll that you can get but as an Omega it has a lot of potential to be great so we'll keep hold of that. And then we also have this chest plate, which once again isn't in the best state. It's got a pretty good item rarity and a very good cooldown reduction. But outside of that, once again, it's not the best I've ever seen. But it is definitely worth keeping hold of because if we need to, we could make this into a very nice piece of gear. But then what about this arcane booster pack? What are we going to find in here? Ooh, plus one to a level of Stonefall, interesting. Plus one to a level of Vampiric if there are at least three green column stat cards. Or plus one level of Bullet if there are between one and five yellow cards. I mean, Stonefall is the only one of these that we actually currently use, but I don't know if we're ever going to get a point where we can have a card that only has two diagonal cards. But it's definitely the one that has the most potential for us since we actually use it, so let's take that. And 
yeah, I mean, even if you put it in one of these, it would have one diagonal that way, but it would have three over there, and that would have three that way. But maybe it will come in handy in the future. Oh man, okay, that was such a fun first vault that I really just want to get back in and try again because we got relatively close to getting two lines on that one. And while the next one we probably won't get quite as lucky, I just want to see how we can do. So, let's get a crystal. And we will use yet another seal. And this time we can take another bounty to go with our Benny bounty. And we have mine 30 pay night, but we get three echo gems and a lot of XP. I mean, I think that's got to be worth it. Ooh, one of the piratey themes? I feel like it's been ages since we've had that. And as for what it wants from us, what do we have? Kill eight dungeon mobs. Okay, so if we can get inside a dungeon, could be great, along with killing four champions. Christ, I thought it was bad last time wanting three, which admittedly we did do, so maybe I shouldn't be complaining. Ooh, it's really going to depend what we find. I mean, that top one could be good, but also rapidly killing seven assassins when they're not slimes can be tricky. And flawlessly killing tanks is also not the easiest task in the world. You know what? For now, I think I'm actually going to leave it on this line and just see how we do. What do you have? Ooh, an unidentified treasure key. I mean, it's 57, but that's what going to be like. 28 for us and i mean we have it oh let's buy that 28 gold for a treasure key i think that's got to be worth it especially now you get so much currency from the treasure door honestly you probably make it back just by mining it let alone the other stuff that you can get also need to make sure we keep an eye out for pylons thank you very much extra item quantity i would definitely take ah oh, let's do it what do you want mine six unique vault ores. I guess we're gonna go looking for some ores in a moment. That's first fine. Oh man, spiders? What are you? Difficulty hard. War ornates. Okay, fine. God, I hate spiders. Oh, hi there, champion. Champion spiders, even better. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Okay. What do I need to do? I need to silently loot on these. Okay, so I need to pretty much kill everything first and then go through and loot all of these. On the plus side, we've killed enough dungeon mobs, so that's good. Apart from the fact I still need to kill the rest of them so we can actually complete. But, you know, it's a step in the right direction, I suppose. Hi. There are so many of you in this one little stack. I'm so glad you all always get stuck there, but at the same time, I could really do with there being less of you. One more spawner, I think. And another champion! Oh boy, okay. Is that everyone? Is everyone gone? No, you. I'm not gonna fall for your tricks. Or you. Right, or you. Where did you all come from? Jesus Christ. Okay. Hopefully, now we can silently loot ornate chests. There better be enough of them in here. If there's not, I might scream. This is fine. Silently loot ornate. Perfect. Oh, okay, perfect. That is, what, three objectives done in this one dungeon. Which, you know, I think, considering it's spiders, it needs about three of them to be complete to be worth doing it. But we did it. Please stop running away from me. I just, I'm sorry. Thank you. What are you? Challenging and gilded. I do need to rapidly loot gilded. Okay. That guy just gave me a treasure key 
And an Omega Helmet. What the heck? Okay, well we should be able to rapidly loot the Gilded at least, but also... What on earth? How? Hmm, I have many questions. That's possibly the most stacked champion I have ever seen. Okay, rapidly kill horde mobs is done. Lethal. Huh. They always hit critical hits. Wonderful. Yes, closely loot wooden. Perfect. Oh man, we got close on two lines. Just got a little bit unfortunate on exactly what was placed where. Because we filled a decent number of boxes. Just didn't quite have the space that we needed. Well, considering the fact that this vault didn't go overly according to plan and we did not manage to complete, I mean, we did come out of here with, what, two unidentified treasure keys? So, you know, this could have gone an awful lot worse than it did. But yeah, just a little bit unlucky. But I will take it. Ooh, 62 coin piles, 30 ores, 113 chests, and 444 mobs. Yep, despite not completing the vault, that was still incredibly successful. We got six mod boxes, a bunch of ores, another copy of the edge deck, because apparently you can never have enough of those. We got two unidentified treasure keys, which is crazy to get from a single vault, 16 jewels, and 21 gear pieces, including our third guaranteed Omega of the day. I mean, Christ, we have been so lucky so far today, I swear. So, from our jewels, I think we'll only be keeping this one, and it's a size 19 max roll trap disarm chance, which I think is probably worth keeping hold of. And as for all of this gear, I think the only thing we're going to keep hold of is of course our new Omega helmet, which actually has an amazing plus 34% increased attack damage, which is one away from a max roll, which is just so, so good. So I am definitely going to keep hold of this as a backup, but I just still am struggling so much to give away our current plus 11 health we have, so I don't think we're going to move to it, but this is definitely a very, very good backup to have, so I am incredibly happy with that. And finally, we of course need to see what we will get from our two unidentified treasure keys. We currently have a Xenium key in our backpack, so it would be lovely to get something else, but honestly, I will take whatever it would give me. Although, if they could not be green, that would also be very, very nice. I do love a nice distinctive door colour. But let's see what we get. So the first one. Ooh, Bomb Ignite. Okay, that is possibly the most distinctive door you can possibly get, which is perfect. And as for our second one, a second Xenium. I mean, I will most definitely take that. We did find so many Xenium doors in that vault a couple of episodes ago, so having two of them may yet come in handy. And of course, a treasure door is a treasure door, so I will definitely take both of those. And before we do anything else, I think we should probably repair this helmet, because 47 durability is not going to see us through a whole vault. So, let's just fix that up. And let's make a crystal for our final vault of the day. Hopefully, we will have everything that we need. And let's put another seal on it so we can have our third goer to bingo today. And let's see if our good luck continues. Ooh, enlightened, so plus 100% vault experience and I think this is possibly a mushroom theme, which I do oh so love. But how is our objective looking? 
I think a lot of these are very mob heavy, so I think it's going to depend on what we find and how well we do, but let's leave it on this one for now. I'm not sure we're going to be able to flawlessly kill eight tank mobs, but I would like to be able to keep track of where we are on those hordes. So let's just see how this goes. Hello. Yes, and it is a mushroom theme. Perfect. I do not want to take any damage until I kill one more of you. Perfect. Flawlessly kill hordes. It's already tracked off. That is very good. And actually, if I can just be a little bit careful and find some dweller mobs, we could also get that, which would be very, very helpful. Oh, and we do need to mine 60 Voltors, so let's do this. Hello. Yes, flawlessly kill dwellers as well. Perfect. And, ooh, some slimes. We need to flawlessly kill assassins. And I think we also need to technically rapidly kill assassins as well. Like that. Oh, well that's done. And flawlessly kill is also done. Perfect. Ooh, this is going rather well. Hello. We must be close on killing the number of horde mobs, right? Yes, we are very close, in fact. Ooh, perfect. Okay, what was also on that line? Lawlessly kill eight tank mobs. Okay, that is possibly less likely, but I'm willing to give it a try. If there could be another ore room, that would be amazing. Ooh, I think this is another ore room. It is! Haha! <laughs> what are you? Difficulty normal? Okay, well we do need to kill 14 dungeon mobs. And, well, we don't actually need the ornates, but I need the dungeon mobs, so let's do this. I hope there's enough dungeon mobs in here. I'm gonna be so sad if there's like 12. We, we run into that sort of situation so many times, and it's so sad every single time. And you hit very hard, young man. But thank you for the pop. That's very kind of you. Ah, uh, yeah, this is gonna have just enough mobs. Perfect. Hopefully, there's some more ores upstairs. Otherwise, this ore room is going to be quite disappointing. Actually, what do you want? Loot 26 living chests. I mean, not sure that's gonna happen but at least it'll only be about three minutes that we're going to struggle with, so that's just fine. Ooh, bounty complete. Perfect. I imagine that's probably our Benny bounty. And are you kidding me? One more Voltor? Thank you. Oh, for a second I thought it was going to leave us with one left. That would have been so annoying. Oh, but it didn't, which is... Perfect, because now we just have to try and find eight wooden chests that are close together and we will have a full line, which would be so, so good. What do you have? Trinket scrap, another bolt sword, or, um, I mean, let's buy that. Seven volt gold for a guaranteed omega. You can't do that much better. I think this is going to take too long again, but I'm willing to try. Yes, rapidly loot wooden. Perfect. Oh boy, I'm actually so surprised that that worked. Okay, what's it silently? Hmm, I could... Hmm. I could in theory just take my shield off and just promise that I won't attack anything, but that is kind of asking to die. 
but I suppose I can try. We just need to try and find five more gilded chests before I attack anything else. Oh, some. That's good. Now we just need to find three more gilded chests. Okay, that's like one POI. Oh, yes. Yes, that's a second bingo. Oh, thank god, and I can attack things again. Oh, okay, so if we want to try and get a third, our best is to try and flawlessly kill tanks, but that is, like I said, a little bit more tricky. So we might just have to be happy with the two lines that we have got. Oh, okay. What do you do again? I always forget. Healing is very inefficient. Wonderful. My favourite. Oh, well, at least we've only got like three minutes left. That's not too long that we have to worry about that. Oh boy, I can't believe it. We managed to get one line in our first vault. Admittedly, no lines in our second, but we got a ton of loot from it. And then two lines in our third vault. I mean, that is just so, so good. And I mean, I would love to say that this just goes to show that the practice of these couple of episodes has paid off, but I have a feeling this is probably less to do with practice and more a good healthy dose of good luck because oh boy we got so so lucky on some of these oh boy that's just so good oh two lines complete i could not have asked for much more from today this has been such a good set of vaults oh boy and that is a lot a lot a lot of xp perfect and we got 13 coin piles but 61 ores which is what one more than we needed for that so that was so lucky 112 chests and 499 mobs but we got two bingos and we had plus a hundred percent vault experience oh that was so good and not only did we complete that vault with two lines, but we also got a ton of loot. We got seven mod boxes, a bunch of ores, a pog, an omega sword, 15 jewels, and 12 gear pieces. Plus, we completed our Benny bounty, and we completed the vault, so we also get all of this. And as for our jewels, we'll be keeping these five. So first we have this size 12 perfect jewel, which I think I'm mostly keeping for the trap disarm because that is pretty high. Unfortunately, the copiously and vanilla immortality are both not great rolls, but maybe I'll use it for hydro void because that is also quite useful. Then we have this size 20 with a almost max roll copiously, which is now 5%. So 4.8 is so, so good. So we are definitely keeping hold of that. Then we have this size 10, pretty high mining speed. So that is lovely. Then we have this size 19, which I'm keeping hold of for the max roll on trap disarm and also some extra durability, which is always incredibly welcome. And finally, we have this size 11 with a very high durability reach and mining speed, which is just so good for adding on to any tool for some extra oomph inside the vault. So that is absolutely brilliant. And as for all of this gear, I think the only thing we're going to keep hold of is the Omega Sword, which has a max roll implicit attack damage, which is so, so good. I mean, obviously we'd have to do some work on the prefixes and suffixes when we eventually decide to try and use this, but those implicits, despite the relatively low attack speed and durability, I think I'd probably have to keep it because max roll attack damage is just not very common at all so definitely keeping hold of this because this will make for a brilliant backup and of course we can't forget our two booster packs that we got from our completion crate and we have a mixed booster pack and a resource booster pack so let's start with the mixed pack what have we got Ooh, plus five vault plating per 13 wooden chests 
not bad. An extra cooldown reduction or extra mana regen. Ooh, I'm kind of tempted by the vault plating. I feel like we probably aren't actually struggling for vault plating. I feel like we've probably got quite a lot, but resource cards are just always so tempting. And we do loot a lot of wooden chests. Yeah, let's go for that. And what about our resource booster pack? Ooh, one waxing focus per four tanks killed. That's very good. One carbon per six living chests. Not bad. Or three vault bronze per 18 mobs. I mean, that would end up with so much vault bronze because we quite often kill like 400 mobs, which would equal a lot of vault bronze but I'm very tempted by the waxing focus because the waxing and waning focuses are just so helpful when fully refining your gear. I think I've got to go for that one. That's just, I mean, this is a fantastic card, but I think I'm gonna have to go for the waxing focus. All right, let's see if I can fit either or both of these in my deck. And I think that should do it. We did end up taking out our increased armor, which I think only had about half percent increased armor. It basically put us up to 127 instead of 126. So not an absolutely huge loss. And then we also ended up taking out this extra resistance, which had a 0.5% resistance from these two. But we do now have extra copiously from having a green card on that line. And I think it's worth it to get the waxing focus and also the vault plating. These probably just weren't doing that much for us. So hopefully this deck is going to be even better than what we previously had. And actually, just before we finish for the day, the black market refreshed while we were in that vault, and we now have a mega stat booster pack. So let's see what we can get from this. Increased area of effect, extra copiously, extra thorns damage, extra lucky hit chance, or extra attack damage. Ooh. I mean, this is very nice and shiny, but I think... I, ooh, attack damage or lucky hit chance. Think I'm gonna go for lucky hit. I'm not sure it will fit in our deck at the moment, but I do love me some lucky hit chance. Does this fit anywhere in here? And you know, I think having the extra lucky hit chance is probably worth losing the one attack damage. It's not 1%, it's just a singular one. And I mean, we have... 405.6 attack damage so I feel like having 406.6 wouldn't make that much of a difference but having a 20.94% lucky hit chance I think that's a worthwhile trade but with all those car packs sorted out we are unfortunately going to have to leave this episode here those bingo vaults were so much fun, and I'd say our luck was most definitely back today. We got four guaranteed Omega Gear pieces, two unidentified treasure keys, and completed two of the bingos. You can't ask for much more than that. Hopefully our luck will continue into next episode, but we'll just have to wait and see. Until then, thank you guys for watching, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!